Alright, hello everybody, this is Mason117 reporting for duty and welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, last episode we finished off our um, tutorial run and everything like that and I, I can't, I think I still have to edit the first episode. So before you guys see that, you're seeing this. So it, it's going to be back to back. Hopefully you're watching this right after that one, that way we're not missing out on much. But yes, we're playing Surreal or Surreal. Or, or however the heck it's supposed to be pronounced. I don't know. It's a, a, he looks pretty old. Is it just me or does he look kind of old? That's weird. Let's bring that age down a little bit. Get some youth, some luster on you. Um, so, yes, we're going to finish with that. And I think the other thing that we're going to change is is the birth sign. We're going to go and we're going to stick with the lady. So that's that's what we're going to go with. It just it seems stat-wise like the smart and responsible thing to do. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to finish and exit the sewer. So now that we're starting, officially starting the new playthrough, let me show you how I do this. So uh, first of all, let's take off our torch. And then I'm going to step out here with our character. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm going to get another one here in a second here. Maybe. There it is. Solid. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll kind of zoom out just a little bit here. We'll hold R. We'll rotate back just a little bit. And then we'll take a picture by going in here. And we're going to hit save. New save. Sorry, all the save. So as you guys can see here, there's a way I do things. So whenever I start a new playthrough of Oblivion or if I re-download the game and whatever, if I'm starting fresh, I always go through and I go to God mode and I just pick up everything and I level up, you know, you know some skills to 10 or whatever just because if i want to play this in my own time i'm gonna i'm gonna do it with my own uh I, i'm not gonna do the tutorial every time so i always save in front of the sewers just like that um like this you can see it right there so now that we've officially started our playthrough these auto saves eventually will get deleted or or you know i'll probably get rid of these ones here um but yeah you save at the gate It'll auto save when you get out, but I always start a new save with like a selfie photo of the character in front of this. So that marks, okay, this is where this character started. Like, let's say I get halfway through the playthrough or something, and I want to go back and maybe change something fundamental. I can either start from scratch, I can start right here with this character right outside the gate, or I can start right as we leave and run off and do whatever. So yeah, that's how I usually do it. It's just, it, I don't know, when you're starting a new playthrough, um, it kind of helps keep things organized. You can kind of see, you know, which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to get rid of. Um, but eventually, like, if we're going to have, like, three or four characters, we'll end up getting rid of, like, you know, all of the auto saves and the, the extra saves that we don't need. So I usually keep about three saves per character. Um, we got a mud crab over there, some ooh, flawed pearl, might as well. Might as well take some take some extra trade goods. So now normally I would go over to those Aeliad ruins. I would do that and then I would walk my happy butt and I would follow the main road. I would actually follow it all the way up to how this you know how this kind of walks you there. But recently I discovered. Hold on, I gotta close some stuff real quick. All right, sorry about that. Recently I discovered that there's just there's just a walkway right over here. Yeah. There's just a walkway that goes right, <laughs> literally right up to the Imperial City. And guess guess what? It's going to go right into the Market District, which is going to be our first stop. Isn't that some shit? Boom, right up there. So yeah, that's what we're going to go do right now. We're going to go up to the Market District. We're going to sell all of our goods. We're going to get some weight um, off our shoulders. We might get a new set of armor, possibly. If we have enough money, we'll see. Um, and then we're gonna go straight to Anvil because there's actually two things in Anvil that we we want to accomplish The first thing is we need to find Joffrey obviously we need to return the Samuel of the Kings to Joffrey and learn about the heir um, and see if there if the 
the rumor of this new heir, this lost heir, is true. Uh, I say rumor even though it came straight from the Emperor's mouth. Now, again, if there's any mods or anything that you guys know of that aren't, they add zero gameplay elements. Like, no items, no anything like that. They just, like, fix textures and improve graphics. Um, let me know down in the comments below. I won't... I've never modded Oblivion before. I think I might be willing to give it a go. Um, just to kind of make this graphically easier for you guys to watch. Even though, aesthetically, even if the graphics aren't that good on close inspection, this is a beautiful game. You can't look at that mountainside and be like, yeah, the idea of those trees and that some city way up there. What is that? Is that, is that an actual city? It's straight up Bruma right there. We can see Bruma from here. <laughs> Even though this is probably like months journey from from the White Gold Tower, but anyway, let's get let's get into the market district. Let's let's get some selling going on. So, I'm pretty familiar with this city, especially this district. Questions. What's new with you? I ran across a couple of mud crabs not long ago. All, all these the guys talking. All right, let's get in here. We're gonna go. We're gonna. I'm gonna introduce you to my my favorite merchant, Jensine, darling. How are you doing? It's been a long time. I know. I haven't seen you. I've seen you in a last life. This is a new one. So you don't, you actually have no idea who I am. I'm surreal. Feel free to browse, friend. It's nice to see a new shopper. I was afraid I lost any hope of new business ever since Thorinir opened up. Thornia. I think you might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Perhaps you can assist us with a problem we're having here in the market district. Unfortunately, I can't at the moment. Some urgent business given to me directly from the Emperor himself. Maybe later. Oh, very well. If you change your mind, let me know. It could prove quite lucrative for both of us. Maybe. So... How I think I might do this is during my streams, I might do some of the side quests and stuff, but it, in the actual videos themselves, I will be focusing on the main story. So if you guys would like to catch some of the side stuff, see more Oblivion content, go check out the streams every now and then. I stream every, I stream off and on throughout the week, but I stream every Sunday from, from 6 p.m. to midnight. So go check it out. That's central time, 6 p.m. to midnight. Uh, link is down in the description. You're even going to have a link tree link there, which will take you to all my stuff, all my platforms. Um, but otherwise, you can also find um, just the Twitch link there. It'll take you straight to the Twitch channel. So maybe I'm live when you when you go check it out. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Um, but that being said, Jensine, back to business. Feel free to browse, friend. we Will do. First, let's have a conversation because I don't like the way you're looking at me. Make it quick. we Will do. So this is the um, basically the the chat dialogue. This is how you get people to like you and how how you buddy up with people. So you've got this little mini game here. It's gonna fill up with wedges, and each one of these four things admire, joke, course, or boast um, is gonna like have like a facial expression to indicate how much they like each thing. And so the goal is you want. You want to maximize the things that she likes and minimize the things she doesn't like. It'll make sense here in a second. For those of you guys who've played before, this all makes sense. So, essentially, this big wedge is how much you're going to lean on boast, how much boast you're going to do. We can see that she hates being admired, she dislikes joke, she loves coarse, and er, yeah, she doesn't mind boast. So, what Don't we're going to do. Don't waste your flattery on me. And she just likes that. Sorry. We'll rotate. Bam. Yes. Bam. What so you always want to end on a story. good note because I feel like that gives you a little bit more. Um, I guess it, 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 you end higher than if you were to end on a bad note. It'll it'll knock you back down. Is that true? I have no idea. So she hates, dislikes, loves, admires. So we'll do this. Um, how do I use my rotate like a dummy? Whatever you want. Sorry. Well, don't waste your flattery on me. Cause I'm dumb. I wish I could say that. That's just don't. I accept. Here we go. So I'm I just have gonna no keep choice. doing this until. Don't try to man. That's just stupid. 
What a great... Yes, yes. Don't talk. I accept. I have no... What a great story. Oh, man. I'm gonna... That's just not Screw funny. That. Don't Hard. talk such... You think... Remarkable. Don't. Please. Right. We didn't end very high. I'm sorry. This, we actually did pretty bad there. <laughs> um... So 68, that's, that's fine, bad. and this is important because when we May start I interest you in some of a my transaction, wares. and we go in here and haggle, her disposition is going to matter. So how much she likes us is going to make the difference on how easy it is to get better prices when selling and trading. So we're going to try, she's an apprentice, so we could probably get at least 150% value. Now I think the highest you can get is just, yeah. Because she's still got to make money, right? But anyway, let's go ahead and the first thing we're going to do, let's try and sell. Uh, let's sell a flawed I pearl. can't do that. Offer a few. She doesn't like it. So let's try and get to maybe 55%. That's more than She'll I take that. So we're going to sell all of this the trade good stuff. That's it's pretty much all these things are. It's just to make money. Nuggets, sapphire, silver goblets. Silver nuggets. Oop, don't, don't want to sell that. That seems a fair price. Uh, we're gonna sell. We're gonna sell chameleon. We're gonna sell flashbulb. You've we got a great. These. We don't need the soul gem right now. We don't have any enchanted items. Uh, potion of night eye. We really don't need that. Or like, don't need that. Um, uh, we'll wait to sell this stuff. We might sell the hammer right away. Actually, you got a great deal stuff. there. All right, I think we've offloaded all of the stuff that we don't need. Let's go ahead and we'll buy three hammers from her. I believe we can get those from... I thought we could get those from her. Oh, she's only got one hammer in stock. So we're going to ignore it. Thank you. Come again. Of course. You. I Fairly won't well. Me. All right, and the next thing we're going to do, let's... We're going to skip the weapons merchant because we've got a decent weapon on us. The iron longsword. It's not a rusty iron longsword. Oh, it's just an iron longsword. No. We want to get better um, armor. So we want to get rid of this rusty stuff and go find some like actual proper, not so rusted armor. And maybe we'll stop at the cheap merchant. How are you today? Spell merchant there. I'm doing all right. How are you? Um, we'll stop at the cheap spell merchant to find something that's uh, a little more healy for us as well. All right. Well, you're clearly the light armor merchant, and you're clearly the heavy armor merchant. Vernardo, how are you doing? I'm Vernardo. I handle the heavy armor at the best defense. I'm also an advanced trainer in heavy armor, so I know what I'm talking about. Sweet. All right, well, Vernardo, let's have a chat. Say what you're going to say. Okay, by the end of this, you're going to love what I have to say, I hope. Okay, so loves, dislikes, likes. I can't tell... Loves, dislikes. Which one do you hate, bud? That one. Okay, <laughs> I was like, "What's going on here?" No. What a dumb. Right, that joke. one ended on a bad note, but let's see if we can't. You're a big fat liar. You. That's just stupid. Bam. Please, I'm embarrassed, I know. but thank Bam. you. Let's do this. That you think that's funny? You're pathetic. See, also, the longer you take, the it'll count down. You're full of it. That really now. You're. That's enough. Um. Hmm. You think that's funny? You've got a point. That's a pain in the ass. You're pathetic. What? Goodness, That's you good. win this like one. That. Blah, what? Really now? You're, that's enough. Boom, 80, let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and start. Let's do business. Haggling with you here. So all together, let's get a haggle going now. He's a journeyman, so he's actually really good with his merchant skills. So I'd be surprised if we didn't get 60% out of him. So let's see here. Let's sell. Let's sell one of our torches that we don't need. He'll take it. He'll take it. Okay, sixty percent 
is good. Maybe we can get 65. Do you think we can get 65? Ooh, 50? Sorry, not 65, 55. This is gonna be, this is difficult. I doubt it. Let's sell one of our lock picks. You don't expect me. I didn't think so. Okay, back down to 60 it is. All right, so the price is here, 40, 130, so 200, 250, around this. It's about almost 400 gold if I wanted like a full set of iron. And we could get 32, 38, 40. 49 gold out of this so let's go ahead and sell oh he doesn't take it because we went down <gasps> no i can't make that deal. bro you're killing me now let's try to get it let's get him back up to 50 tell me more thank you how kind can i interest you because i want to maintain a 60 percent that's that's really good. 160 for for this guy. Um. That's just not reasonable. Well, well now why is it not working, huh? It was fine before. You were more than okay with taking it then. Now it's too much. Oh, can't do that. All right, let's buy a set of boots. I wouldn't make that deal. Cure us here. Some gauntlets and a bargain at any price. And then we really should grab a shield too, but we're kind of low on funds right now. <gasps> ah, what could I sell you? I could sell you my 30 arrows that I don't need. You got a great Let's deal there. Alright, and we'll grab a shield from you. Alright. Kit it up with a new set Come of armor. Back. Yeah, whatever. And I think if you skip dialogue, it'll cost you. Um, like it, their introductory dialogue. I think if you skip it, they like you less. You too. All right, so our armor rating is twenty, and we do about three points of damage with our sword. All right, well, let's get to it. <coughs> now, I was gonna stop in here, but since we're so dang broke, I don't think we. <coughs> I don't think it's worth it. Let's see what he's got anyway. We'll see what he's got to offer. Hello. I keep burping, man. I'm drinking a Coke. So. Edgar Vautrin, you don't want the very best. You want cheap. And I got cheap. All right. All right. You like? he, he likes us pretty well already. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Um, let's see here. He's burden. Some of these are pretty cheap. Some of these aren't very cheap. Protection, alteration. Destruction, major wound. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> so restoration, restoration. Restoration. Hmm. All right. Interesting. You've got some stuff that I might be interested in. We'll see. That's also restoration, fortifying that. See, I don't know what luck does. <clears throat> I think if you don't buy anything from him, he also gets a punch to his how much he likes you. But that seems to be all we need for now. So. One second here. I'm only asking for a single coin. Yeah, okay, fine. One more coin and I can get a pair of shoes. Here you go. Thank you, kind sir. Of course. Have a good. Lessons of our new upon you. I don't know if I can data worship is becoming increasingly <laughs> <laughs> good thing we have to I love the armor design in this game. Hail Very Spartan-esque helmet of service? on top of like a full like Western plate armor um, looking. I don't know, is this Western? 
kind of like a little bit of a Roman inspiration there with the kind of the battle battle skirt thing. But it's very thick, heavy plate. Kind of almost like a gothic design on the gauntlets. I really like this. I hope that I hope that when they do so, there's a mod team working on a um, on an Oblivion uh, overhaul mod that they're making the entire Oblivion game in the Skyrim engine. And I really hope that they do the Imperial armor justice because it looks even as old as it is. It's just it's something about it that's so iconic to me. I just love it. So the great thing about Oblivion is we do not need to. Um, we do not need to, what's the friggin' word? Um, <laughs> we do not need to run to discover everything or get somebody to drive us or, or whatever in order to go places. Like, I could fast travel to any of these points as is. And I think it's just assumed that there's a, a carriage service or something that you find and you get take. Maybe. I don't know. I'm making up lore. <laughs> but that being said... Um, <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure if I want to do that in this playthrough or if I just want to, you know, like I said before, run and kind of like discover things on the map as we go and then maybe, um, I don't know, maybe just like do maybe a bits video or something like that, kind of exploring the things that I have found along the way. It'll give me an opportunity to kind of rant and ramble and just talk to you guys might also help me um, edit, you know, learn how to edit a little bit more. So the Halo Reach videos, very little editing is needed because I can just play through Halo Reach and Good over time, you, um, you know, because there's always something going on in that game. Um, I don't need to worry about cutting up blank space unless I go AFK or something like that. Only place in the city. But um, in Oblivion, there's like plenty of opportunities where... I can make a cut hey, okay. to make it a little simpler on the viewer, you know, so you guys don't need to watch it. I don't want to do like a like a smash playthrough, like I call it smash as like a smash style of editing where it's just What's going chunks, on with you? you know, bit by bit is just being slammed in your face. You don't see much of the in-between stuff. Now that's very efficient because you just get to um, enjoy the the actual content of, that they're trying to portray like you know the, the campaign or um, you know like one one person I could say does like a smash style of content would be like the spiffing Brit or uh, let's game it out or um, uh, mitten squad rest in peace um, you know those guys did a very do a very smash style of content where it's like hey, the editing is just the um, just the high notes, which again, completely valid way of editing. Um, it's very entertaining and captivates an audience. It maintains um, it maintains audiences uh, attention. Um, but I I I enjoy taking things a little slower. I, I'm I like smoking cigars. I like um, you know taking walks and stuff like that. I enjoy things to have like a pace to it. And so, you know, I also, that's kind of one of the reasons why I enjoy being able to have, like, a third-person camera, you know, all this other stuff. Let's, uh, let's go actually play in third-person for a bit. Now, we could have grabbed a horse, a free horse from the stables. Maybe, maybe we should do that. Should we go grab a free horse, or should we just, I think we get a free set of armor if we buy a horse later, but. Ah, screw it. Let's go, let's go get the free horse. We might as well. We might as well, because by the time we can buy a super expensive horse, um, we're going to be able to afford horse armor like it's pocket change, you know? So let's just go get a free horse. That'll get us moving. That'll get us, that'll get us rolling. <clears throat> Plus, if I actually run this... There might be some stuff that happens along the way. That'll be, you know, interesting. And I can cut into the video. You gonna talk to him or are you just gonna stare at him? Greetings, Imperial. Oh, Snock Rabura, owner and proprietor. 
We board horses and, well, we don't actually sell horses. Anymore, that is. You got a beautiful voice for an orc, you know that? Very smooth. Unlike the male orcs in this. They, they sound gruff as hell. Uh, I'm here about the horse armor. Well, what can I interest you in? Um, I want horse armor and a horse, too. You've got to be kidding. I'll take any horse. I'm not fussy. Let's see what we've got here. Although I had no horse, Snack Grobura outfitted her old nag with steel armor and gave it to me for free of charge. From now on, she will outfit any legally owned horse that I bring to her with steel or elven armor for 500 gold. Sweet. I've never done a light armor playthrough. I'll be honest. I've never... Well, that's not true. I have done a light armor playthrough. Um, I just don't remember what the light armors are. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's go get our horse. <laughs> we just walk right past it. Look at that. Look at you. Yeah, beautiful thing. Good boy. Old nag. Maybe nag is... Maybe it's a girl. All right. Let's get moving. Hello. What is it, Scarsman? citizen? Nothing. On the road again. I can't wait to get back on the road again. So, what are we doing? What's going on? So, as you can see, we got a little quest marker here. And if we look in here, we see Battlehorn Castle. I've heard rumor, or I've heard a rumor, that the defenders of Battlehorn Castle are besieged by marauders and are appealing for aid. Apparently, their commander has been killed, and they're offering the castle itself to anyone who will help lift the siege. <laughs> so, basically, just to spite them, if we can come help them from their capture, their castle being captured, they will just, in turn, give us their castle. Why? Because it's a DLC. Why not? Um, this is, in my opinion, the best player house DLC that they have. There's a couple others, like Frostcrag, Spire, Deep Scorn Hollow, um... There's a couple others in here that are fun and whatever. Um, especially uh, Frostcrack Spire is very useful. But for the sake of our playthrough, there's an idea that I will elaborate on a little bit more when we get there. But I think it'll be really fun if this playthrough keeps going and you know we keep playing this character. So, yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit more when we get up there. But first and foremost, we're not here for that. We're here for this. Deliver the amulet to Joffrey. We gotta stop at Wayne on Priory first. But that being said, we have one hell of a road to travel. So we're gonna not, we're gonna do our best not to get distracted and sidetracked. Man, I tell you what, this horse does not seem to go much faster than, than me running. I'm gonna be honest. But, um, it's kinda have some like, um, also this horse has got a fat ass. Look at that. Look at how fat this horse's butt is. But yeah, it kind of controls like uh, Mountain Blade, where your A and D keys kind of turn left and right, and then your W is just to go forward, and then you can look freely with your mouse. But yeah, I believe, if we check this sign here, Coral, Shadenhall, Bruma, Skingrad, Kavach, Anvil. <coughs> so we're going up this way. A penny button, look at that. I will say, you know, running on foot like this is going to make this um, recording a hell of a long, long one. That's a cool statue. Just got to make sure we're on the right road here. We're not. We're going to Coral, not Anvil. Oops. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was Anvil this whole time. This whole time I've been saying Anvil. Why don't you guys tell me? Mason, you idiot. kind of knew we weren't going the right way, too. I was like, this doesn't look right. I don't remember having to cross a bridge. Coral. See, it's this way, guys. I told you. Making us go the wrong way. I wonder, can I actually grab these? Or is it going to kick me out the road? Oh, I can't grab them. I can interact with stuff on the horse. I didn't know that. 
Morning Glory. <laughs> yep. This route's called Morning Glory. Oop, doggo. <laughs> Listen here, puppers. I'm trained in the art of flare. I missed. Give a shit about my flare, didn't he? he was like, and bro, Ooh, wolf belt, take that. One pound, ten gold. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's let's roll. So I might get five gold out of that. Out of that wolf belt. What is that thing? You see it up there? No, Mason, not. We're not getting distracted. We're going to coral. Oh, it's just a fallen tree anyway. Mason, you dummy. Getting distracted by trees, bro. This looks like rain. And this is nice, too, because we get to see things like this. Just a random guard, killing wolves out here, slaying the wildlife, hell yeah, capitalism, let's go. Well met, citizen. I see few new faces these days, it seems. With the Emperor's murder, a darkness has fallen upon all of Cyrodiil. It is sad. What can you tell me? Anvil is all in an uproar. First the chapel attacked, now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. Hmm. Seems unfortunate. Yes. Might as well talk to this guy, get my speech skill up a little bit. He hates being admired. Doesn't mind. All I right. can't argue with that. That's amazing. You don't try to manipulate that. My life is drab and wretched by comparison. I can't argue Hell with yeah. that. Yeah, let's get going. I won't. Gracious, you think that's not now? Not... I can't. Ar... What a d gracious. What? Not now. Not All later, right. twenty ten points. Let's go. You're good. Yeah, thank you. Have a good Long live the uh -huh. I feel like maybe we can wait for this guy to get back on this horse. Oh, he's going that way. <clears throat> I feel like running through here is a death trap. Like, who decided that putting a road through ruins would be a good idea? I heard somebody running. Hello? Pay up, or else. Or else what? No, take it from me if you can. Actually, that's the way this one prefers it. Try it, buddy. <laughs> Burr! Let's do this. Bam. I don't know what that did. He likes me. Get back to the flare here. Yeah. Heal myself a little bit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yo, you shield went flying, man. All right, what'd you got on it? Not much. I, I suppose I could have expected that from somebody who's, you know, trying to rob. Probably didn't have much, did you? Robbed the wrong guy today, didn't you? Sorry about that, man. It's the way the cookie crumbles. Unfortunate. Now, what is that? I don't know what that is. Let's keep on rolling. Keep on going. I feel like we're almost there. Maybe we can stop and ask for directions here. Hello? Hello? Knock, knock. It's locked. 
you know, with Heinemann on the road, I'm not surprised they lock their doors. <coughs> I guess we keep on rolling. Pretty sure this is the way to end. Uh, Coral. Not Anvil. I don't know why I thought it was Anvil. And I'm still flabbergasted. Oh, look at that. Probably if I just went five more feet. I believe this is Wayne on Priory. I've arrived at Wayne on Priory. Now I must take the amulet of kings to Joffrey. It looks like the stables and the stable hand are back here, so. May I help you? Yeah, give me just a moment while I park my horse. Park my horse? Is that, is that what you call it? Stable my horse. I'm the shepherd here. Erinor's the name, and this is Waynon Priory. Well, hello, Erinor. Tell me, do you know a man named Joffrey? If he's not sleeping or eating, he'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory house. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. Right, do I have a bald spot? Damn it. I play a game to get away from reality. <laughs> it is a privilege. Have you seen the Briants and their dogs? Odd folks, the way they dote on those dogs. Well, they're not hurting He's anyone, though, so it's face. no concern of mine. I hear you. Take care. Yes? Uh, oh. Can I help you? Yeah, um, I'm here to speak to Joffrey. He's upstairs. Go ahead. Well, welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and this is Wayne and Priory, a monastery. Gotta Can get I a help? second opinion, you know? Yeah, tell me about Joffrey. Oh, yes, he'll be in the Priory house somewhere. All right, thanks. I'll ask you about see. the blades later when it's more clear who I am and what my business is. Well, that's him, it looks like. Again, something is wrong with your face at a distance. That just looks horrible. <clears throat> Joffrey? I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Listen, the Emperor sent me to find you. Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? He gave me the Amulet of Kings. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. Here you go. By the nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Let me tell you the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Close shut the jaws of oblivion. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Well, then how can oblivion threaten us? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. The Emperor asked me to find his son. What do you know about that? I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. 
Where can I find Uriel's son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. All right. Well, that opens a whole new list of dialogue here. Tell me about the Amulet of Kings. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. All right. What about Boris? One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear That's he will good. take the Emperor's death particularly hard. The dragon fires. The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. So the Elder Council le uh, leads in his stead? The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. Tell me about Martin. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kavach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. Who's Mehrun's Dagon? The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Thahn's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. Okay. And the Blades, tell me about them. Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. You had mentioned before I go that you could offer me some assistance. Please, I may need it. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. All right, let's see what he's got. Garlic. All right. Steel arrows, a steel bow, a nice steel claymore. <laughs> Fucking whole set of iron. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and then some healing potions. We'll take we'll take a couple of these. We'll take that potion of sorcery. Fire shield, maybe. Resist magic for fifteen percent. Cool. And uh that steel claymore. We'll take that. We'll probably leave the bow and stuff. I doubt we'll need it. That claymore looks nice, doesn't it? Let's equip that real quick. Sweet. All right. We're looking kitted out, and I think this is where we will leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying this kind of laid-back, calm playthrough of Oblivion, again, we're going to focus mostly on the storyline, but if you guys do happen to want to see some side quests and stuff like that happening, maybe come check it out in the stream. We'll, we'll play some Oblivion on stream. We'll do side quests like the Thornier quest that um, Jensen had mentioned earlier. So, yeah. Could be some good fun, um, but you're gonna see mostly the main quest here. And you might see some products of the side quest, like maybe we get a new side weapon or something like that that we can use or something like that. So, who knows? If you guys are enjoying this series, please let me know down in the comments below. The secret phrase is going to be discretion. Discretion is our watchword. All right. If you can incorporate that into your comment, it lets me know that you guys made it to the end of the video. I guys, you guys, again, I appreciate you all so much. And as always, this is Mason117 signing off. One last time. Shh. Signing off one last time. I'll see you at spawn.
Love you, bye.